gorgeous, gorgeous piece, lovely golden pretzel. Just give that a smell. Yummy, doesn't it? Do you want it? Hello. Oh. Welcome to the Tingledom Bakery. Now, I think I've seen you over in the sweet side for our cookies. Yeah, we do have obviously a wide. which change through the seasons. But you've come over to the other side, a bit more of a general bakery as well. As you can see, we have a variety of breads. I'll show you what's on our display in just a little bit. Yeah, pretty much all made in-house. There is an item that we are the experts in breadsticks. The name is Breadsticks. Been down there? Uh, it's just down Tingledon Boulevard and then just on Todd Howard Avenue. There's, It's kind of in the middle of the road there. Yeah, they, they don't really have any like walls that they share with anyone. They're just kind of plonk It's lovely. It's a great place to visit. Highly recommend. If you like breadsticks. So, here at the Tingleman Bakery, we do pride ourselves on our baked goods. And, of course, we have the more sweet varieties, but over in this side we're a little bit more in the uh, yeasted dough areas. So all of the items that I'll show you today do come from yeasted dough. But that doesn't mean you can't get a little bit of uh, sugar and sweetness in there, does it? <laughs> so let's see. I'll save the items from the display for the end. What shall we start with? Do you want to start with sweet? Mm. Or savory? I think it's time for me to have something to eat. Sweet? Okay. So, I actually prepared a little viewing plate. This is our sweet selection, and you can see it's, uh, well, we actually have a couple other sweet things, but this is the kind of bun roll. I don't know why they're called. I guess you call it either a cinnamon. know why. <laughs> anyway, so we call them uh, buns. So these are our bun selections. And you can see they're swirled. I've uh, got this little Moscato one, which is the easiest one to pick up because it doesn't have icing on the top. You can see they have a beautiful spiral pattern. And if you caught me saying the flavor, but this is a nice little Moscato bun. So it's uh, very simple. Our 
bit sweeter dough and then it has a sweetened Moscato glaze on the inside so it's quite nice we do also do that with an icing um, but I did them plain today we have a traditional cinnamon bun as well oh, smell that cinnamon I know you're gonna want to eat it right now, aren't you? that's fine, go ahead you have it I'll pick up the bigger one for us to talk about As I was saying, our oh, smells delicious. Now you have something to eat, so you're a little more satisfied, aren't you? This is our cinnamon bun. This is a robust cinnamon flavor on the inside, topped with a nice. get a nice little bit of tart sweetness in there it's absolutely decadent now they do come in three sizes this is the medium so we also have a super large which is called a large but I just mean it's quite large and it's just a lovely texture as I am sure you are appreciating yes, light and airy buttery and yummy sweet and cinnamony oh, I'm always making up words I got a little bit of that icing on my finger now we also have our little crescent roll, not a bun. Uh, we have a regular crescent too, but this one is a lemon crescent roll. And this is one of our specialties, as is the next thing I'm going to show you. Uh, it's just a wonderful, light lemon flavor, uh, cut through with a fair bit of sugar so that it's not overly tart so you can just really appreciate um, the tartness without puckering up too much so they come in these little delicate size that you can see here just a lovely little swirling crescent Now, our true signature piece is this little beauty. This is a balsamic bun. Now,
balsamic but a true signature here in Tangledom, as you probably can guess why. It's a very unique flavor. It's got balsamic glaze on the inside. And then a very tart and sweet balsamic icing on top. It's a very, very unique and enjoyable experience. Some might say you So that's our Ben plate that I have. Let's go over to our savory plate, although I have one sweet thing on here. We've got our little Danish. This is just a strawberry Danish. You can see it just has a nice bit. Strawberry jam included right there in the Danish. And this is a lovely thing to have for breakfast. It's very delicious, very enjoyable. Now we've also got our crescent rolls, the plain type. And then we get in to our sourdough. We have a wide range of sourdough. Now, it's well known in baking circles, but I'm not sure if you're aware, but sourdough can actually differ from place to place to place. Which is why you've perhaps heard of San Francisco sourdough. It's because the yeast in the air which creates the sourdough is actually unique to that area. Well, of course, we have our own unique sourdough here as well. In my And I've tried quite a few, so can't uh, recommend it enough. So we've got a few different shapes, sizes, and types. We have this cute little square or diamond bun. Depends, I guess, on what angle you're looking at it. You can see it has a nice Cross X on the top, and it's just a nice little roll. It's great to slice right down the middle, have with a fair bit of butter. Delicious. And we've got our rounded roll as well. Another little side roll. It's very crusty, so it's very good with soup and that sort of thing as a dinner roll. It's not as soft as you might have with other rolls, but if you really like a crusty roll, it's a very nice option. And we also have lovely Grissini. Long, narrow, and very crunchy and delicious. It is a sourdough crissini, so you get that sourdough flavor combined with the lovely shape and texture. Yes, a grissini can be used, um, well, it can be, it's a lot of times used as a snack, even. Just kind of chomp on, well, that's what I use it for. 
Uh, but it's also popular in soups and that sort of thing. Uh, you can do it with coffee and that sort of thing. It's not as sweet. Yeah, it's not as sweet as that. So it's a little bit different experience, but this one... You can. You can if that's what you want. It would be a bit similar to a toast. Now let's move on to what I have for our display today. You can see we have a range of items here. At the front, we've got a rounded roll. But this one's a bit larger. You can cut this into little slices and have small. We do do larger uh, loaves as well, but as we have a lot of guests to tingle them who may not necessarily be eating a whole loaf of bread, we do work in small servings quite often. Now this is one of my favorite items in the shop is our lovely pretzel. Isn't it beautiful? And we do make these in a few different flavors, obviously with salt on as well, but I actually just love the classic Just so fun to eat. I am a bit of a heathen though, I don't like mustard. Um, set this down for a second so we can get to the contents behind. So we've got this little hot dog type roll. As you can see, it's a denser roll than perhaps you may be used to. It's a nice split along the side so you can just cut it right there. Ready to eat up a yummy sausage or hot dog. We have scores across the top. You can see it has this beautiful rich golden color. It's delicious. Mmm, the smell of bread. And the other one I brought down is this balsamic twist. It's a beautiful This is a twist of just a plain bread with a balsamic wash on one part of the bread. So it just adds a slight hint of flavor there. It's very delightful. Can't go wrong with that. It's also such a fun shape. Now you'll see also at the back we've got some breadsticks borrowed from breadsticks. They are delightful. You can get them here, but the true breadsticks experience, as I said, is down at breadsticks. Definitely worth having. We have baguettes as well. get a bit too sweet for some people to have it um, with 
rising. So that is what we have on this side of the bakery. Can I get you anything else? 